In the last lesson we created three separate pieces within a single part file and I mentioned that we created three solid bodies. I just want to take a minute to clarify the difference between solid bodies and features with multiple separate pieces. This is actually a single feature with three separate pieces and not three solid bodies. If you expand the solid bodies folder you can see that there's only one solid body named solid one. If you expand solid one you can see extrusion one and beneath that is sketch one. One method of creating assemblies is to create all the parts in a single part file and then you separate them into an assembly file. This process is covered in detail in the Assemblies and Advanced Concepts course. So for now I just want you to be able to identify the number of solid bodies in the file. So we'll need to create a second body. Open the 2D sketch command and then select a face on the extrusion. Inventor has already created a profile so we'll use it to create a new body. Finish the sketch and then open the extrude command. If you recall the extrude command can join, cut, intersect and make a new solid. If you want to make a new body you have to select new solid. Select this option and then apply the command. Now if you look in the solid bodies folder you can see that there are two solid bodies in the folder and the number two indicates that there are two bodies. The solid modeling course covers single body parts and as I said the assemblies and advanced concepts course covers multi body parts. But I also know that I've probably sparked your interest in working with solid bodies. So I'll give you a little more information. One thing you might be wondering is if you apply a join operation to the part which body is the feature added to? The answer is this. If you select a surface on a body to create a sketch the sketch is a child of that body. So the feature created from the sketch will be a member of the same body. In other words if I select this surface to create a sketch the surface is part of solid 2. So the feature created from the sketch will be part of solid 2. If I select this surface to create a sketch the feature created from the sketch will be part of solid 1. You might try doing this with this file before you proceed to the next lesson. And as I said it's covered in detail in the assemblies and advanced concepts course so there's no need to master solid bodies at this time.